What's up everyone, this is Sapernet8610, and today we'll be opening up 24 packs of Soul of the Duelist, as you can see here. So basically, a box worth of packs. It's not actually from a box, though, so that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing, I don't know. I guess you're not really guaranteed any hollows, but you could actually get more than what a normal box would have. So, like I said, this could be good or really bad, you, you just never know. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we get from them. I like Soul Little. It's like I've said many times, it's the reason I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! when I took a break. I like the level monsters and, and everything from it. I thought it was a really cool set. That <laughs> sandwich. Then we have a Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 4. It's gonna get Mass Dragon. Remember using that a lot. Maybe we'll get the other forms to Horus. I think that'd be really cool. Have Spirit Barrier. Ultimate Baseball Kid, that's a good one. Skull Dog Marin, I remember that has a sad story to it. Sandwich, Arm Dragon Level 5, that's a good rare. Ultimate Baseball Kid again. There's actually quite a few uh, good commons and rares from this up. Hope in the future too we'll see level monsters return. I'd like that. Red Eyes Black Chig, level up. And we have Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level 6. Alright, so we leveled up. Now we're from 4 to 6. Hopefully we'll get 8 in these uh, as well. That's really good. First holographic, too, from this. Horus has probably one of the more simple designs of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters, but I think it's also one of the coolest looking ones. So, Charcoal and Pachi. And also an airplane, if you guys can hear it in the background. I'm recording, so you gotta have some airplanes flying. <laughs> it's funny how that works out every time. I don't even record at the same time. Dark Mimic. Sandwich again. Then we have Dark Mimic level 3. So we leveled up on that one. Always get... Seem like these three are always together. Or that's happened a few times. Red Eyes V Chick again. Ultimate Insect level 1. Element Dragon. Also, yeah, I liked how they had those, like Element Soldier and Element Dragon. They had kind of cool effects. The way they worked and everything. Mind Crush. That's really good. And Nolan Void. Another super rare. Oh, man. <laughs> Malice Doll Demise. I think that's one of the scariest looking Yu-Gi-Oh cards out there. That one kind of creeps me out a little bit. Ojama King. For a rare. Forgot that Ojama King was in this set. It's funny that a lot of the Ojama cards aren't out in GX. Like later on, they decided to use them and, and let Chaz use them and everything, and then we started getting a lot more support for them. Mystic Swordsman level 2. That's a pretty good one. Again, but those three. Except different order, but... Huh. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Level up. And we have Ultimate Insect Level 1. And it is an ultimate. So that's always awesome to get. And, man, I'm going to miss getting ultimate rares out of packs because... Uh, starting in January, of course, uh, yeah, they're not going to have ultimates and main sets anymore, and ghost rares are going to be, you know, we're not going to see them for a while, supposedly. I think, you know, they're supposed to come back, because they just said for a little bit. But yeah, definitely going to miss getting ultimates out of packs like this. Uh, although, they look a lot better in the older packs, the ultimates. Like, that kind of ultimate looks a lot better. Of course, they've improved. It was around Duelist Revolution, I think, is whenever they changed them up, and, like, they were really thin, and you could bend them really easily. It's kind of when they messed up on that. Seems better now, though. Hollow Life Barrier. Another super rare. Now we're starting to see a few hollows. Three supers and an ultimate so far, so... Not bad. I'd like to get an Arm Dragon level 7 and, of course, Horus level 8. Hammer Shot. <laughs> ultimate rare. Again, another ultimate. That looks awesome. I like this one anyway, because it's just kind of funny. I feel bad for those goblins, though. <laughs> After a while, a lot of cards where they just don't have a good time. <laughs> that looks cool. That's a good one to get. That's a good card. I remember whenever that was getting used a lot. Ooh. 
Ultimate Insect level 1 again. That's why I like 2 on some of the older ultimates, is that a rare could be an ultimate. That happens here and there for us, but I think that's the way it should be. Like, all rares you should be able to get as ultimates. Mind Crush. Have Dark Mimic level 3. Come on, other level monsters. Keep getting level up, it seems like, at the front. Master of Oz. Oh, yeah, I remember this card. 4,200 attack. Really cool. I remember seeing a lot of people trying to use that. Have Mind on Air. So far, no Ultras. See if that will change. And of course, this is before Ghost Rares and stuff, too. Uh, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. I don't know if there's... There might be Secret Rares in this set. I don't remember, honestly. I don't think so. Arm Dragon level 5. Come on, horse level 8, and Arm Dragon level 7. Those are the two I want. I think they're both ultra rare. I think. Well, Arm Dragon might be super. We have Mind on Air as an ultimate. That's cool. That looks really cool as an ultimate, actually, on that. Well, we're getting a few ultimates. Not a bad thing. Fusion Weapon. Have Ectoplasma. Man, I hate this card in the Nightmare Troubadour when Bakura always uses it. Man, this is like uh, one of the most annoying cards ever in that game. It's cool to get, though, but <laughs> man, you just want to kick Bakura in the face in that game when he uses it. And I like Bakura as a character, but man, in that game, you just don't. <laughs> he always uses that, and it gets annoying. Innervating Mist for a rare. And, let's see, okay, we have two packs. I thought we had one for a second. Come on, Horus. Uh, we have Hammer Shot. Got one as an ultimate as well, so we got the rare and the ultimate. Last pack. What do we end with? What can we get from this? You can definitely tell it's not a box. We've had some different rarities. Oh, John McKean. Is Ojama King an ultimate in this set? I'll have to look that up. That'd be awesome to get if that's the case. I don't think so, but he might be. Here's the hollows that we got. We got basically super rares and ultimates, which are pretty cool. I'm glad we got Horus. At least one of the forms of Horus. We got, uh, you know, level 6. We also got level 4 uh, at the beginning, but uh, yeah, I wish we could have got level 8. Maybe I'll try to get some more of these in the future. I'd like to actually try to get like a first edition box and do an opening too, and uh, maybe we'll be guaranteed to get, you know, a few uh, different cards on that. But just getting some random packs like that, not bad. I think we did pretty good from it. But yeah, hope you guys so enjoyed this video. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, be sure to uh, leave a comment, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more openings, and also tell me what the openings want to see in the future. Uh, I know there's like a lot of destruction and uh, Phantom Darkness. I know people want to see a, a lot of different ones, so I'm trying to get them. Don't worry, I'm listening to all the requests. It just uh, takes time to find, especially uh, some of those older boxes, so I'll try to get them as soon as possible and do openings on them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!